Okay, guys, day six challenge video. Um, there's a, a favorite behavior that I like, and the behavior is called the chin rest. Um, and it's finished form. If you hold your hand out like this, the dog is going to put their chin in your or their chin in your hand uh, until you say all done. Click and treat. So the way we started this uh, behavior is I took a piece of food and I put it, I put my hand out and I put the food right up to the dog's nose and I lured the dog into position. Yes. As soon as the dog's chin hit my, hits my hand, I'm going to mark it with a yes or a click. I've always used yes on this one because I can't handle the clicker and the chin and the food at the same time. So food up to the nose, hand below the chin. Yes. As soon as the chin hits the hand and then feed and release, you are not forcing the dog into the chin rest. That's important. What we really want to do is have this be the dog's choice. And some dogs are very sensitive about having their the hairs on the bottom of their chin touched. So it may take a little while. After a while, that food and the hand rest and the food goes down below the nose so that the dog, yes, presses hard on the hand. So I don't know if you noticed, but she really pushed hard on my hand. And that's the moment you want to mark. So as we do everything, we're going to break it down into little tiny pieces because if we try and do the whole behavior at once, it doesn't work. So it's little pieces. So now, did you notice that she backed up a bit? That's telling me she wants a little bit of a break and I'm going to give her a little bit of a break. She's looking for a break because she knows this behavior, so she doesn't know why we're going back to the basics. Um, but I'm going to give her that break. Anytime your dog backs away, don't follow them. Let them take a break. It's their way of saying, hey, back off a bit. And that's okay. You know, we're not doing stuff that's life-threatening here or, or life-altering. This is fun. And so if it's not fun for the dog, we don't want to continue doing it. All right, so hand out, food to the nose, drop the... And you see what? She's backed off. She's like, eh, why are we doing this? So I'm going to ask her once or twice to do it the way she knows how to do it. It's rest. Good girl. So that she gets a little bit more confidence because this is a confusion. She doesn't understand why we're going back to that whole beginning. Rest. Yes, good girl. Alex, rest. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Yeah. Good girl. Very good. So take it a step at a time, guys. Draw the dog's nose over your hand. Have them get longer and longer and longer at it before you click. Oh, look at that. What a good girl. Yes. And then uh, eventually, you know, when you put that hand out, that's going to be the cue. You notice I don't have verbal cues on this. I It's always a visual cue. And the visual cue is the hand is out. And it's always a voluntary behavior. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make her do it. I'm not going to push her head down if I can't. Yeah, good girl. Very good. Yes. She says, oh, I remember this game now. All right. So there's your day six challenge. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. Um, I'd love to see some, some videos. So if you're finding it, this is successful. I think you can uh, go on my YouTube and post those videos, cut them down so that they're relatively short so we can see your successes. If you're having trouble, show me your, the problem spots and ask me a question on YouTube. Uh, I will check to see if we can do that on the blog as well. All right, have a good day.